Hey guys, welcome back. Um, Dan Shields, church guitarist here, and uh, as always on these, these are, uh, my apologies, these are really badly made videos, but hopefully they get you up and running on the Kemper pretty quickly, so they're designed just to be functional. They're, they certainly don't look pretty by any stretch of the imagination. All right, today what I'm gonna do is I wanna show you how to use um, MIDI patch changes with Ableton. We just started doing this. This is probably gonna be a longer video than normal, and I'm sure it's gonna be a really messy video, so my apologies for how bad the video is. But let me just walk you through the steps. I'll also put them down in the description below so you can get a little bit more clear picture of what to do. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm in my rig manager. If you don't have rig manager, make sure you use that. That'll help you in a lot of different ways. But if you notice here, I've got on my local library, I'm gonna take the song Shepherd, uh, and I'm gonna just copy it, control C, and I'm gonna put this on my profiler itself, uh, and it does need to be in a performance thing, so I just find a performance bank that's empty, and I'm gonna put it here in 49. And then I'm gonna click on it, make sure it's lit up, and you see the little um, headphones on there to say that it's, it's, uh, that is functioning now. All right, now the next step, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go over to Ableton and get it set up, and again, my apologies for how bad this video is going to be. Uh, I might even have to put down the phone at times. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to control click um, over in the right field here to insert a MIDI track. So I just inserted my MIDI track there. This is going to be really hard to do with uh, one hand, but I'm going to uh, control click on the name and I'm going to rename it. For us, uh, I always name these the same. I'm going to call it Kemper one MIDI, we have two, I'm just sort of getting these, the first one lined up though. Okay, so Kemper one MIDI, it's a MIDI track. Now, if I go over here to the output and I go down, my output driver for my uh, MIDI is a little Mio driver and it just goes from a USB into MIDI that goes directly into my Kemper, uh, into the input of my Kemper uh, MIDI in. So the MIDI out on the Ableton into the MIDI in on my Kemper. Uh, I am on channel one, so you would drag that down to whatever channel you want that. Um, the next thing that I do, um, let me see here. I'm going to scroll down to the, I'm going to go down to the bottom here. And if you notice, it says quarter note. I'm going to just double cl uh, control click on that. Control, yeah, control click on that. Uh, this is going to come up, and I'm going to set it to 16th notes. That way I have a little bit more exacting placement of these things, okay? Uh, I'm going to go to the beginning of the song then, and I'm going to go into the track that I just did. One, two, and one, I normally two, don't three, start it. Four, I normally don't switch until a little bit before it starts off, probably one bar before. Uh, and the reason is, if I'm like vamping on something uh, previously, I don't want it to switch sounds on me. Five, so. six. One, two, three four, five, six. So I'm going to double click here and that's going to put in a MIDI command. Now a couple things with that. If you go down here then, um, so that put in the MIDI thing, you got to go over to this thing that says clip. And if you click on that, you'll see here that bank, sub, and program come up. Bank we won't be using, but the sub bank and the program number we will be using. Now I go back over to my Kemper here and if you notice uh, right there, my MIDI program is 113 and my MIDI bank is number two. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do sub. I'm gonna just click on it and drag it up and I'm gonna drag it to two and I'm gonna drag this up to 113. I don't know if there's a way you can click in it and type it in, it would be easier, but this is what I've been doing. Okay, so 113. And if I go back to the beginning of the song, uh, I'm gonna, I'll put my, Kemper on a different uh, song, so I'll, I'll load this song. So I'm in Then He Rose, and if I go here then and play this song, one, you're gonna see this thing switch. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it switched to Shepherd. Okay, so, and then I would do that for each segment of the song if I have multiple segments, like intro, verse, chorus, or whatever it is. Um, and then basically I'm gonna go over into, um, this and I'm going to do a save as under file and I would save it however you want to save it. I'm actually putting on the end of these things just so people know what it is. 
M-I-D-I. That way I saved my original file because I'm new at this and I want to make sure I'm not messing anything up. All right, well again, terrible video, but hopefully that helped you out uh, to get the basics of how to use the Kemper with Ableton so that it switches.